Hey guys, welcome back to Cerebellum's PYQ 90 second series and today we are going to discuss about one of the most common questions that's asked in the entrance exams right now in India that is on Hepatitis B virus serology. In fact, today's question deals specifically with chronic Hepatitis B virus infection and they're asking what are the markers that are likely to be positive in a chronic HPV infection. We have four options. Remember, this is a question that contains multiple right answers. So what is option A? It is Hepatitis B surface antigen. And of course, in a chronic HPV infection, it is likely to be positive because surface antigen is a marker of infection. And in fact, the very definition of chronicity is persistence of surface antigen for more than six months. So option A is correct. So what about option B? Anti-HBS. Remember, anti-HBS is a marker of immunity, protection or vaccination. So this patient who is having a chronic HPV infection is unlikely to have anti-HBS. If they have anti-HBS, surface antigen would have been negative. So option B is not correct. So what about option C? Anti-HBC. Anti-HBC is a marker of exposure. Anyone is exposed to the virus in the past, you are going to have anti-HBC positivity. If it's acute infection, the IgM fraction will be positive. If it's a chronic infection or a resolved infection, your IgG fraction is going to be positive. So our patient with chronic HPV infection is likely to have anti-HBC IgG in particular to be positive. And what about HPV DNA? HPV DNA is a marker of replication. Depending on the level of replication in a chronic HPV case, HPV DNA may be positive or negative, but let us assume it to be positive. So the right answer for this question is option A, C and D. Definitely not option B. Thank you.